Got a drill, okay. Is it better? Yes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a hole with something. Okay. I'm going to call it for a little bit. Because, call him. This is a shot. <laughs> So we're gonna help him celebrate. All right. Are you happy about going to the birthday party? Yes. Whose birthday is it? Baby James. Yeah. What are we gonna do at that party? And eat cake. Yeah, cause cake's your favorite. Taylor, are you excited? <laughs> are you ready to go? Huh? You just, you want to sit in the front, don't you? Okay. I think Taylor wants to ride in the front. She does not appreciate having to sit in the back. So, we're going to switch seats in just a minute. Uh, Lewis and I were just traveling a little bit, and we were talking about how they need to teach a class in college about debt and student loans. You know, I feel like, you know, uh, I know he can interject in a minute. He's driving. But I feel like, you know, they teach all these random classes and that's fantastic. But um, I need to know a little bit more, you know, because when you're young, you don't really think about those things. Like middle age seems far off when you're 22. Like they should say, hey, if you take out this loan, you may be paying for it for 35 years, you know. But there comes a certain point where you don't want to be in debt I think we're boring Taylor but you don't want to be in debt forever but nobody tells you about the high interest rate and how it's gonna take you a very 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 long time to pay it off and I think like you know Lewis just finished his MBA and we had to get a loan for that but what were you saying about the principal the principal of the loan yeah uh, the principal you could, uh, when I paid my bill the other day, I realized and looked at it, and I noticed how, you know, the bulk of the payment went towards the interest instead of the actual principal on the loan. So I was like paying, you know, uh, seven times in, in interest uh, in, in a very small amount in the principal. Um, I also love my family and want to do things with them but it's harder to do because there's this debt hanging over and so now you know we're kind of which I had debt when I married my husband he didn't um he made a few better choices than I and I think he's well he's always been knowledgeable about money but um it's only within the past few years when I feel like I really had a solid plan and so what I've made different choices I might have and I think that, like, when you're in college, there needs to be more advising on, hey, if you're taking out this loan, just know that in the next few years, this is what you're going to make. And this could be, a, I mean, it could really take you a long time to pay it off if you're, um, if you have a loan and you want to live. Um, I'm vlogging. Vlog. Yeah, vlogging. Vlog. Vlogging. Taking pictures. Not video and vlogging. Video and blogging. You okay? You gotta shut her door back.
Hey, Brooke. <laughs> Elle, what do you think about Baby J's turning one? Uh -huh. It's having a birthday party. Uh-huh. What do you think? Uh, it's good. It's good? Uh-huh. Okay. What are we going to do here today? Uh, eat nuts. <laughs> what are we going to do, Brooke? Uh, have fun. Awesome. So how do you feel about turning one today? Is it monumental? <laughs> no time to talk. I get it. I love you. I love you too, baby. I are about to get back on our healthy living lifestyle because it has been out of control. We've been so busy. Of course, we set up um, an e-commerce shop for t-shirts, which Lewis is wearing his today. Ella insisted that she wears her she wear her shirt as well. But we set up a e-commerce with WooCommerce to start the t-shirt collection. And um, we have been so busy. And so one of the areas we have been neglecting is our eating habits. And so it's just, I mean, what do you do? You choose, you know, time. Time is time, man. I mean, it's limited. So we work during the day, come home, um, just fix something quick. And I know we're not the only ones that do that but we need to make a few better choices just for health's sake not just for like i guess some people say vanity purposes but i have a high blood pressure and he does as well so that's just not something we want to have so if we can avoid it then we can avoid it and of course taylor has um hyperinsulinemia which means she has an excess of glucose that she kind of carries around her body so it's very important that she stay a certain weight because i definitely if I don't have to, if I can avoid um, insulin shots or her being diabetic, then of course we're gonna do everything in our power to avoid that. So, tell mommy what it means to eat healthy. Because because you just you have to eat healthy because because you have to be strong. Mhm. Mm and what kind of foods are healthy? Um, carrots. Mhm. Mm vegetables. Mhm. Mm oranges. Blueberries, mm -hmm. bananas, mm -hmm. cucumbers, mm -hmm. uh, pears, and what else? And carrot. Oh, those are all yummy. Are you going to eat some of those with us? Yes. Okay, what are you going to eat? What, is, what does mommy need to put on her grocery list? Um, carrot, vegetables, cucumbers. And cucumbers. Anything else? Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, uh, some cabbage. Mm. It's, uh, it's, uh, green beans. Green beans. Yami, are you going to help me eat green beans? Uh-huh. You are? Uh-huh. And what about those carrots? Are you going to help me eat carrots? Yes. Awesome. All right, so watch this corner. Oh, my sweet Jesus. I seen that corner. I'm not going to hit that corner with okay. your vehicle. Okay. Be nice. Um. So what are we gonna eat? I'm not sure. The little one says she wants Sonic. I so don't, I don't want Sonic. I so don't want Sonic either. Um. <laughs> so you're just going. You gonna get the car and just drive you and Taylor, huh? Taylor. Hey. <laughs> um. I don't want Sonic tomorrow. We start on our journey back to our healthy living healthy lifestyle so what are we gonna eat i never left oh, yeah <laughs> okay i never left my healthy life mm -hmm. you so left it went straight off cliff <laughs> um thoughts i can't wait to get back getting the right foods <laughs> What is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot going on. Here are my thoughts about Taylor turning 18. Um, I think the, the, the mom part of me has a hard time processing. I, I feel like, I think, I think the sadness or whatever the, 
the sad times come mm -hmm. when you know those big markers like turning 16 and going out and not necessarily going out but like going to a prom and then turning 18 and getting a diploma like the human side of me kind of feel sad that her experience is going to be different from others and so you know what do you what do you do with that well, how would it be any different from others um just because like I would love to see her off to college you know like see her off help her pack help her get situated and I know some some kids who have you know, Down syndrome or they get to go or experience part of that. But um I don't necessarily right now I don't know if that's a possibility for her. And so that's a cold hard reality that I have to face and kinda have to plan for. I mean I know all parents, like even Ella when she gets ready to go to school, I know we have to do a certain amount of planning for her. It depends, you know. College might not be for her. She might have other talents outside of college. Same Mom, as Tay. I need, I need, have I, other talents. I need the yeah. I think I think the biggest conundrum for me is she. Oh. You know, she has a choice, and that's my own inner battle. You know, I know it has nothing to do with Taylor. She's just happy being her. But um, yes, Ella, what is it, love? It's it's tomorrow's snack bag. Yeah. Of course, it's all about food, baby, because food is life. Yeah, we got you, what, four big bags of things to take for snack day tomorrow. Yes. Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, daughter. Taylor. Taylor. Oh, I roll. Okay. Ella, do you want to say something? Yes. Okay. Um, I have a Barbie dream house. <laughs> you have a Barbie dream house? Yes, Okay. Um, Oh, Santa gave it to you, like well, last year. Last, last year, Christmas night. Right. Okay. And so, what do you want this year for Christmas? Uh, for November, for Christmas, I want... November is your birthday. Right. No, December is Christmas. Cece's talking to you. What? <laughs> Say hey. Because <laughs> that's important. December. Yeah.